I'm Rosalyn Boy, I'm a Professor of Cerebral Palsy Research from Brisbane in Queensland, Australia. Babies um, develop about 80% of their brain growth over the first two years of life. And it's also when all the connections in the brain, the, what we call the white matter, which is the cables in the brain, um, grow and develop and connect to the cortex. So sometimes the doctors will talk about the word neuroplasticity, and neuroplasticity is about strengthening those connections and building those connections. So it's about optimising all the different things that you do with your baby to improve their motor, speech and hand function. To optimise your baby's neuroplasticity, you should be uh, working with the baby that they're engaged, they're paying close attention, that they're practising new tasks and they're also repeating them and it's a, the just right challenge, so it's not too hard, not too easy, so they're working a little bit. If the baby's had cerebral palsy or is diagnosed as having high risk of cerebral palsy, the baby will do all the things that normal babies do, but they might just be a little bit delayed or they might be a little bit slower, but often they're ready to do um, the same sorts of skills that normal babies do, but they, they're not responding as quickly, so parents um, need to wait and to give them positive reinforcement and encouragement. I think every baby's individual, so you have to really discuss it with your therapist and say, what's the right thing for my baby to be doing now? What's the next thing they're going to try to do? And how can I help them do it? 